Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was starting to clean up uh, this logo for this lady, or finalize it, and, you know, like this is weird shape, and this is what I do a lot. I clean up one side, and I'm going to show you why, and just kind of pick the best side, and we're just going to pick this side, the left side. And I'm going to take my shape tool. Well, I've got to ungroup it. I've got it all grouped together because I put it in the center of the page. Grab your shape tool. And let's just zoom in here a little bit. And let's take both these and right click and convert them to a curve. And then you could bring this out a little bit. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Just kind of make it look a little better and symmetrical. And then just go through and look at some nodes and see what's going on. Like there's a node here that's not here. So that's what we're doing. We're getting rid of some of those bad spots. And let's just make this a little bit different. And you would want to make sure it still fits in the parameters of the logo. You can see there's a bunch of nodes on this side that aren't on that side. And we're basically just going to delete some of these nodes. As long as we don't change the shape of our logo, and there's a lot you could do, and there was a couple of rough spots, uh, like right, well, that's the one we just fixed, I think, but you could kind of line it up, and so I'm just basically working on one side, and like there's a node right there that we can do without. You want you want good straight lines. Uh, the corners look pretty good, rounded. See, this one's square. It's kind of squared off, so our other side looks better. And that's why we're going to use the right, the left side. We're going to take our, maybe just make that a little bit more rounder. Let's see what happens if we delete that node. Yep, didn't hurt it. And you could, you could spend a long time going through here. And sometimes when you back off, you can see nodes uh, differently. And I'm going to call that good for the video. And I do this a lot. Let's see what the top looks like. See, here's some nodes that could be dealt with. Just getting us straight lines. As long as that doesn't change the shape of your logo. And you could really look at it. And you could even fill it in to look at it differently. Like there's a node that's popping up right there, but it looks good. So now we've got this item in the center of our page. Well, we ungrouped it. So group it together, control G, put it in the center of the page, make sure it is. Let's take a two point line and just draw it holding down the control button and hit P, put it in the center of the page. Now our left side is the side we want to keep. Take your virtual segment delete key and just draw down this line and delete all that. Now we can take our, our line, select all of our logo, control D and make a duplicate of it, grab that handle and just slowly move it over till it pops on the other side. Well, that didn't work. Hmm, there's something in here I'm not seeing. Let's, let's just delete this. Let's take a rectangle in a yellow box, put it in the back of the page. No, there's nothing in the way. There is. There's something over here because the box is extended. Let's ungroup that. And let's just take our pick tool. Something is here. Something is right here. Let's go to arrange, break curve apart. Then we can select this side. And there it is. That was what was causing us trouble. So now let's select it all. Control G to group it. Control D to duplicate it. While holding down the control button, flip it. 
Now, there's your logo that's symmetrical. We can take our Smart Fill tool, and we'll finally change it to black. And I'm going to fill in all our things that need to be black. And if I did this right, I could nudge this right back over. And I didn't do it right, but that's easily fixed. Let's change our nudge distance to like a quarter of an inch. That's why you don't want to ever move anything manually. You want to nudge it over so you can put it right back. But there's our logo. I'm going to left click no outline to make sure there's nothing there. And there's a finished logo that looks better. Good, clean artwork. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.